Nelda said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. No metal panel. I will check another scrap pile. through the scrap piles for a metal panel. <sighs> I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing too, I can use a decent meal. another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. Mildiff, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. Your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Interested, there's an ostrom close by offering salvage contracts. Oh, 
Summer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get to it. Got everything I need for Del and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom! Machines. I've trapped that awesome up here. Help! I'm hurt! You did it! You got them all! Are you hurt? I live. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that! Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Thank <laughs> you. 
busting up this place. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. Making good use of this. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now, if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. Hey, Lord. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Forcing the commander Takote out of hiding, defending the grove from Regala, and ending her rebellion on the wings of the Ten. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's this song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try to metal weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Jax is in trouble. Hey, Lord. Nice of you to join me. Thought you could use the backup.
You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught on aware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. <laughs> Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. Oh, it sounds like that long leg isn't a There's there. our long leg. I mean, Utaru it fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. <laughs> Care to show me our prize, Huntress? Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. you had left plain song well i thought about it but then i'd have to carry this long like throat all by myself you found jacks did <laughs> that old man can still hear perfectly fine so let's hear it i'm gonna need some help aloy can you take this to the workbench please you won't have to do much i promise You'll see a... Why, 
cavity on the instrument. That piece should fit right in. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll, please, later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small pouch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunters' families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Claustrider. Take a moment to appreciate... This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. There's a dead Utaru in the clearing. Must be one of the hunters. I'll take out these machines before I can grab the seed pouch.
Okay. Now to collect the hunter's sea pouch. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacked them? I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Okay, got the seed pouch. Better pick up the claw strider's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their seed pouch. He died where the claw strider caught him. At least I can return a seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Cluster right probably chased after him. to do here. It looks like the claw strider continued up the cliff. Hunter gave it quite the chase. The ground is covered in some kind of recipe. Looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. Oh, the hunter kept running. <laughs> Close tires tracks end here. No sign of the last hunter either. I don't know those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Machines were interested in that crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. Got a feeling that last hunter was pretty resourceful. Gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. 
I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. I can slow it down for you. Stay back, and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. Looks like plasma will help. It's done. We did it! <laughs> I didn't think anyone could take that thing down. I'm Lao. You came from Plainsong, right? Did anyone else from the hunting party make it back? Shale told me there was another survivor. Oh, it must be Ven. He made it. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. Then here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this. Not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouch. Shale. I should give her the seed pouches I would- Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there. But the Claw Strider is dead. Here. The seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Ven would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. Champion of the Grove. You said something about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the Greenshine for yourself. Hmm. I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you. All of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. Cash of Greenshine could come in handy. Sounds like I'll have to fly up there. And a bomb from a Horus would make dealing with those machines. Seems a lot easier.
like right. blood. You must be the champion. Please, a word. Of machines down there. Do I fight them or find a bomb first? There's the cash. I just need to get past those vines. Tough. I should pick up that green shine now. I was nice of that to knock the soldier to point me this way. I wasn't looking for thanks, but I'll take it.
Heard the Lowlanders have been fighting rebel holdouts by the coast, west of the Grove. If you're still helping the Chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Cregella at Tide's Reach. If I make it out there, I'll see what I can do. Move on. How can you say that? I only meant... No! I have to find him. Who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death, but one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a... a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together. A... Uh, raft? I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. I could fly out to sea to search for those raiders. Sentry said the raft was heading west. On the raft in an ocean. Should be easy to find. Wreckage. In the raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after. I'll only 
they find out if I go down? There's someone down in the rocky outcrop. I wish you there. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Holed up on top of a tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were true Tanakh, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the Tide's Reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Fugitives are in the tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be... There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raiders who attack Tide's Reach. Up there! There's someone okay, flying! Okay, that's the raiders. And they are a threat. Who is that? Who cares? Bring her down! Attacking Tide's Reach again, or anyone else. Is this all their supplies? Whatever they stole, they've used or lost most of it. I might as well take what's here. Take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds. Birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. What's wrong? Meat here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt. And clay with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet. Just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. Sounds like you are feeling isolated. Yara should be around here somewhere. I need to help her look for that missing kid.
Glad you made it, Aloy. So, here we are. Sand, dirt, red clay. Just like you said from looking at that child's cord. Maybe you could use your relic? See if he was here? Star where meat is. When she gets squawking like that, she's usually onto something. Okay, I'm on it. There. Small footprints. Faint, but the tracks lead away from here. Yara, I found a trail. Might be the child. Really? Let's go. Back at Scalding Spear, you said you couldn't trust anyone. What's going on? With Draka out of the way, I thought there'd be peace for a while. <gasps> Two days ago, I had to put down another upstart. He thought I should have sided with Regala. How many more do I have to kill? When does it end? Done. I would question that. Do I detect a note of judgment there? You know your people better than I do. But I have noticed that killing leads to more killing. It's always been the way of the desert. Yeah, but should it be? I need help. I'm stuck in here! Do you hear that? Meet to the rescue again. I don't want to die I here! I think the child's in that ancient wreck. There you are. You're safe now. No! There's machines out there! Time to fight! Uh-oh. Oh no. Hit them up! One of these things. Brace yourself. I should check on Yara and the kid. My arm hurts. We'll get you taken care of. I okay, little one. You're all right now. What happened? I just wanted to go on a hunt, or I got lost, and then the machines chased me, and... Hush. You're safe. Just give me a minute with my friend here. Then I'll take you back to Scalding Spear. Thank you, Commander. At ease, soldier. Those machines would have finished me if you hadn't been here. The kid's okay. That's all that matters. Yes. His parents will be glad to have him back. His squad, too. It's nice to save a life instead of end one. The desert kills, it's true. But every now and then something blooms from it. I'll think about what you said. I'm just glad I could help. About that. Take this. You deserve it. You found the child. Well, you and me. What a team. Stay safe, Yara. 
and you as well. so scared. You gave us all a scare. I'm gonna take a moment and admire the view. Okay. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with a scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago, by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers, right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. Singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name, Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Nutaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him, whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song, or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed, but I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stems. Sunshine upon you. Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. If he's there, I, I bet he'll be tending it. Thanks again. Glad I could help. I hope you find what you're looking for in Riverhim.
Okay. River him. I sell all you need. I should look for Nilo. Give him the scarlet stems. The herbalist in plain song said he might be near the memorial grove. Ada Mune Nilo. Did she say Nilo? Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others. Including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River Him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may, from an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Prefer to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. Look, the Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always love to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard... herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. I even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. Here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city, where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way. 
locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the Shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. Okay, there's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. Everyone should be nearby. Gizmo Stemmos after should be inside. I think I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin, see if I can find anything that might help. in here. Huh. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. Found one of these in another room. It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of the code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. There we go. 
Amen. Got it. I'm head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Norland. <laughs> Delver of the Deep. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think there are more scattered in ruins beyond the desert. I might be able to track them down. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. It might be able to turn on the lights. Hmm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. <laughs>
This must have been the feast of the crescent moon. They couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon. This wind's in a rush. Could they? Yeah, you. Well, so ah, I. the forge. That'd be a lot of feasts. with the override machines. I better take it. This focus is encrypted. Maybe I can hack into it back at base. I should go to my room and check out the focus I found in that rebel camp. Okay, the focus I got from the Sons of Prometheus is encrypted. But with a little effort, I should be able to hack it. There, got it. Engineer Team Smoke, your request for materials was received and approved. A shipment has been dispatched. We're short on couriers, so we'll leave it for you in the wilds. Don't delay on pickup, this stuff is valuable. Coordinates are embedded in this message. Use it well for the cause. So the Sons of Prometheus sent supplies to some of their operatives. It might be worth checking out. These are the coordinates that the Sons of Prometheus sent supplies to. Might be worth taking a look around. Can't be too careful when it comes to these guys. We're taking this.
blasted sand getting into every nook. Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah, my steel flame friend. Behold. A box. My lockbox. After you smashed up that rock breaker in the tunnel, my crew cleared the place out. Found this in the smashed up carts. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just... wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Ha-ha! <laughs> well forced and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying kid. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsa. I should... So what's new? No? Aloy machine Anyone? hunter. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chain Scrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Anytime, Flame Hair. The Canucks sure are resourceful. Build a camp like this. Out I said Port of Sister should be working around here. 
I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Normie. How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. I see here. A jewel. <laughs> Surprise he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgif read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgif got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there, by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Red hair, keen eye, big spear. Those ingredients mean a Nora warrior. Aloy? Twice conqueror of Regala? Right? There's not a rumor in the land that doesn't cross the cook pot. Kitchens chop up the meat and stir in the gossip. And was what you said to that Tanakh soldier just gossip? About food that can make her stronger? You think soldiers are the only ones with skills? Blades aren't just for war. Slice up the right ingredients and you'll be stronger in the field with the correct preparation. What ingredients do you need? Some bird meat and a little mystery ingredient. If it stays a mystery, I won't be able to get it for you. Wild bird's eggs. These soldiers won't touch them. They claim warriors only eat meat, but a true warrior takes every advantage. I'll get you those ingredients. See, Hakata? True soldiers aren't cowards in the kitchen. You can get the eggs from the island in Desert's Tier, the lake just outside the walls. As for the meat, plenty of birds feed in the grasses around the shores. Bring the ingredients back here and you'll get that meal for free. But how did he come 
effect on it. There should be goose eggs on this island if I can find the nests. That's one. There must be another nest. another egg. Machines up. Got one. There's a nest on that smaller island. I can override Glint Hawk's Stop her from swooping down on me. That's all the eggs. Time to get back to Salt Bite. Be ready. It's time for us to prepare the chef's special. How did you know I had your ingredients? Every cook worth their salt can read people as well as they can cuts of meat. Fakata, let us work our magic. May the courage of your stomach bring you victory in battle. We'll be here whenever you desire more delicacies and your next meal will be on the house. So, Hakata. All right. If that Nora will risk the chef special, I will try it. But if that slime sickens me... It's your whining that turns stomachs around here, Hakata. There's a village southwest of here, Cliff Watch. They've been having some trouble with machines, but our people are stretched thin these days. You think you might be able to lend a hand? If I'm in the area, I'll try. I'm sure they'll be thankful for any assistance. You'll want to speak with the Kota when you get there. All right.
air was feeling damp. Waiting for rain. I'm Ikuta. You're Aloy, right? The one who flew on the wings of the Ten. I thought maybe you could help me, and the village. And the forest to the west, our people have always found good salvage from shell walkers and glamour jaw piles, but now killer machines stalk the area. Claw striders, for certain. And I've heard rumors of something worse. In years past, I would have asked Marshal. Chikata to, to help me clear out the threat, but he was killed at Baron Light. Now I'm alone, and there aren't enough seasoned soldiers here to help. What do you say? You up for a hunt? I just might be. <laughs> Strange. Chikata used to use those same words in the same way. A good omen, I suppose. All right, meet me at the edge of the forest, west of here. We'll hunt together. I'll be glad for the company. There's Ikota. Ready to hunt some machines. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close, as are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Shikata and I helped hold it from the lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Shikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for a united tribe, and volunteered for the very first coup. Cool I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. Hey, Lord! Wasn't about to let you hunt alone. Now let's clear these machines. Fire away! More! Incoming! Looks like the hunt's not over yet! There's no turning back now.
no way I can reach you. Now that was a hunt. Here, let's speak again. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, I felt an ache in my chest. I know he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. He did a good thing for the village, and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday, you could come back, if you're up for another hunt. I just might be. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you, to see if you need help. Bold move, Wallbreaker. Burying Dakota's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Dakota's orders. Right. I remember Catalo showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower. One we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them. Especially when their chaplain supports their return. 
Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Jera said the old watchtower should be near the falls. Time to tell those soldiers to head home. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked, then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our... insubordination. Things have, uh... changed at the bulwark. Dakote won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right, then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. That's odd. Ezeko always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? We're moving out. Back to the bulwark. You're shit. <laughs> what about his echo? This must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be at the top. Circling the watchtower. It's not a good sign. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. Fire's not gonna help here. 
Soldier assigned to this watchtower. That must be him. Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. The watchtower's under attack. I need to get down there fast. <laughs> Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Outlander, let's hear it. Where's Azeko? Thanks for the assist. Is Azeko on his way down? Actually, the machine's got him. I took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy. Follow Chief Akaro's orders? A and what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the Chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out! Dakota is an underhanded jerk. But maybe now he'll stop wasting lives over political agendas. Were you discussing me? Keta, apologize. I think you offended our guest. No offense intended. We were debating whether you or Farika were the first to fly in the wings of the Ten. Farika? She fought a stormbird and it lifted her into the air. Sounds like flying to me. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. If you find yourself flying on the wings of the Ten again, search the mountain. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'll think about it. I don't care what you say. She flew. She flailed. Were you there? I saw it all in the distance. 
She fought well, I will give you that. No one is climbing that mountain. Not even me. Must have known. Oh, right. I would need to fly to find out what happened to Farika. This is the mountain we have to walk past the historic. His armor should be around here somewhere. Fragment of Farika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. Another armor fragment. Stormbird that killed Farika. Stormbird. I might have a scrap of Farika's armor. One more bit of armor lodged in the machine. Looks like another bit. Of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. Come and trade. As one enemy falls, another runs. The Outlander, the Outlander has shown. The Outlander has shown. But to fly on a sunboy, like we saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it, anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that Stormbird. Ah. Uh. I see. A painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the Ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. She flew! I knew it. The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. 
You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. She met a harsh fate. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal, or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone. Could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. There, on the beach. A Clint scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic like Jomar mentioned. No relic. Can't be Jomar's brother. I should take a look around. See if I can find anyone else. More dead scouts. I should check if anyone is doing this brother. But I'll need to get rid of those machines first.
That's all of them. I should check the scouts. sure if either of them are Horus. But maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines? My focus might show me more. Huh. Nothing. Maybe my focus can pick up their tracks instead? There. Maybe Horus escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Chase, but Oris fought it off. It looks like he ran inside the tower. Probably to escape those sunwings up there. The tracks end here. They must have climbed up this tower. I can find another way up. Another close one. This must be Horus. 
But there's only one way to be sure. I better check for the relic. The relic. And my focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Having a good day? Ancestor, you returned. Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horus. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by, I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards too.